da 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 What's up, guys? It's Rev. It's Revelation News. Like, the, I, I made it that, you know. Uh, it's like, that's always what I'm going to be when it comes to... When it comes to, like, being on the internet. Um, that's what I started as. I, I mean... Well, originally, my YouTube channel was like... It was like the Tento Saga. It was... <laughs> It was my sci-fi novel because I, I thought that I was going to use it for, like, selling my novel and stuff. Um, or, like, not, not really just selling the novel, but, like, like eventually maybe, like, an audio book would go on there and stuff like that. Which, that's out there. I have a page, uh, a YouTube, actually, I think, the, the Tento Saga uh, audio book. And Shani was going to record it, but we just, we haven't gotten, you know, we've had this harassment for so long. We haven't really been able to pursue anything realistically because it's like, oh, our channel is going to go down. <laughs> our channel is going to get screwed. So why even bother? You know, that's the deal. But I have a, a plan here that I think can be really cool. I had a Instagram that got banned because of oh my god, I'm not even going to say the word. Okay, but it has to do with medical stuff. That thing that was going on in the 2020 with with the 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 sickness, that uh I I talked about that a few times. I never said anything negative about it even. I it just got brought up you know, uh, in, in a, a couple videos I did and they're like, no, we didn't like, we didn't like that. You know, I don't want to cover up the microphone on this. It's such a pain. I need like a stand for the phone and stuff to do this correctly. <sighs> That's another thing. And tell me in comments in the bottom, because I would really, I want to do this. Uh, I, I want to do an entire series of videos like I did the first time. And there was such good stuff on those videos, guys. Like really awesome stuff. I was doing. I was talking about like Bill Cooper stuff, William Cooper, um, and breaking down like what I believe in. I believe that there is <clears throat> a system. Let's call it the New World Order. I believe that this is a real thing. It's 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 almost been parody like a parody of itself of uh, of the entire concept of the New World Order. But uh, I do believe that there is a cabal of people in the world that meet in secret um, and make policies and decide uh, what wars are going to happen, uh, all kinds of this type stuff. And that's what I want to talk about um, because I find it fascinating. And it's like Christians can get really wrapped up in that and it takes over everything. And I, I don't want that to be the case. I, I don't want to only talk about that stuff. But it's what I, I mean, Revelation News was meant to be like prophecy in the news channel. And that's what I had, really, pretty much. I did a lot of Bible teachings and stuff like that, actually reading scripture, though, um, instead of just looking at the news and then going, okay, this connects to Bible prophecy. But I did both. You know, I did, uh, it's the same thing to me. You know, uh, it's, I, I do... In most headlines, you're going to see something that that makes you go, oh, wow, like something weird is going on here in the world. I mean, in this country, it's absolutely insane. Every day you have something un new, unprecedented happening in the country for with the Trump thing. It's insane. The indictments. It's incredible. Never seen anything like this in American history. Now, like you think about, well, how does Trump connect to the Bible and Bible prophecy? This is a song for the people. All right. Thank you, Gucci trolls. Um, the the chat is like, especially when I'm starting to do like, I, I would call it like a presentation or whatever you want to call it. Um, I would call it like, it's like a lecture style presentation and it's not nothing scripted. I have nothing in front of me except my my 
mini Cambridge scripture here. This is a mini, mini Cambridge I got back in the day. Um, that's all I got in front of me. It's not going to be scripted. I'm not going to read anything to you. In, in, in things in the future, if it's really involved, I might have some bullet points that I want to pop off each. The, uh, and I just have, I have bullet points and then I speak on them. Um, and that would be it. But I don't even have that right now. So uh, I just really, I'm coming on here to, this is how it's going to feel. And I'm going to call it uh, Revelation News Podcast. That's And this is going to be number one of that. Because uh, I have an issue I want to talk about tonight with you. And I don't know exactly how long I'll be. Not too long. But uh, the issue I want to talk to you about tonight is basically like monetary system, um, monetary policy, um, economics, that type of stuff. You're welcome. I recommend everybody listen. It's an important message. He's a conservative. Okay, cool. That's cool. Everybody could check that out then. Whoever sees this wants to check that out. Go for it. Um, <clears throat> I want to talk about that end of it, the money end of what I call the new world order. Okay. Um, it's a scummy system, very abusive to common everyday people. That's just a fact. It's a very abusive system. Um, and, and it may, it's been, I mean, our currency right now has been devalued so horribly that, you know, you're not to the point, thank God yet. You're not to the point of, you know, a hundred dollars for a loaf of bread. Thank God we're not there. But, uh, at, when you see what the Federal Reserve is doing and, and the interest rates and and where they're going, uh, they're they're really they're pushing with their finger like we want we want some hyperinflation going on. I really hope it doesn't go that way. This song is about Rev, you'll enjoy it. Okay, cool. Really? <laughs> that's wow, that's interesting. Okay. What's that again? Have you heard Oliver Anthony's song, Rich Men North of Richmond? It's a song for the people. Okay. I'll check that out. The name again. Oliver Anthony. Rich Men, for, Rich Men North of Richmond. Oliver Anthony. Okay, I'll look that up. Um, see, I when you do stream of consciousness, I don't want to get too off the uh, off the reservation of what I talk on that that can be a problem with me because I, I I really I walk towards issues and then that sometimes leads to another completely separate issue then I'll start talking about that instead of the original issue so I'm gonna I'm gonna dedicate myself guys to you to try my best to remain on that straight road. He was just offered an $8 million contract and turn it down. Sorry for interrupting. No, that's okay. You're not interrupting. Uh, I'm kind of getting into the mode. This is kind of just an opener for, for all of the videos that are going to come after this. Um, and then I might have a video where I just talk on something like a headline or, or like Trump with the trial or something like that. I might talk on something uh, pertaining to that. But if you saw my last YouTube videos before that channel just went away, uh, like I'll be talking about that stuff again, definitely. But uh, right now, I want to remain focused on uh, this one issue that I'm going to speak on. And, and it's not that complex once, because I'm going to give you the way it is, all right? I'm not going to go with this mainstream stuff that you... Whenever I see a segment on mainstream media that speaks on these issues pertaining to like e economics and, and the way money works and the monetary system that we have, um, it makes me very angry because it's clear that they just want to put out a bunch of gobbledygook to people uh, without explaining things to them. And just say, well, we're the masters of this system. Like I would think about somebody like Rich, uh, 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 what's his name, uh, Reich. Um, his last name is Reich, R-R-E-I-C-H. Uh, and he's a Keynesian economics guy. Okay, the Keynesian system is absolutely cancerous. And it, create, it creates bubbles and... and um, uh, Bubbles and 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 pop bubble and 
catastrophe and then we pop, blow up the bubble again. It's all debt. It's all based on debt. It's based on thin air, nothing uh, crap. And then and and f- the fractional reserve banking system is exactly why we have a country that has it's a bunch of slaves. We are slaves to this system. It it's just a truth, okay? And this is why you have families that have to have both parent working uh, huge hours to make ends meet. Now we come into the era of like, wow, like social media has gotten to be absolutely insane. So people can make massive amounts of money really fast now. Uh, And then we have the whole crypto, uh, the new era of money, which uh, the cryptocurrency is uh, is massive and it's getting bigger every day. And there's there's new cryptos every day. Hey, God bless uh, you, Christina Blackfeather. I just saw you comment. Um, and I don't know what that is. Some other deal, man. I don't know. But uh, I I don't think it wasn't. a. You're not a comment in here. You must have commented on something, though, because I saw you pop up. Blessed be to her. And I and every every religion here is welcome. OK, I, I believe in Jesus Christ. I, I like this is my book. You know, that's my revelation news sticker that you can't get them anymore uh and i might make try and make another teespring i don't know why would i even do it you're somebody's gonna just sort of flag it and ban it but this is my book this is what i believe and um that's where i'm at with it but uh i i i don't judge other belief systems uh i'm not that type of christian i i believe that no matter what you are uh you uh, we can talk about issues together. Uh, it's a big problem in my mind. If you've walled off your idea, if you, if your ideology is telling you to wall off other views and not talk to them, that's pretty stupid in my book. Uh, because you, you know, uh, just because somebody's a different religion or or maybe doesn't even believe in a god or something, doesn't mean that you couldn't learn something from the person. You know what I mean? I I find that really uh, what's it, it's insulting. It's insulting to people. Jesus Christ said to to be everybody to, to be something to everybody, you know, be the salt of the earth. Uh, listen, it, 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 you got two ears and one mouth. That tells you you should listen more than talk, and it's true. Um, what I'm doing here is like it's 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 lecture type data dumping. That's what I want this to be. So let's start off, really, this is the way I want to go with this, okay? This issue is really something I wanted to talk to talk about right on the bat, right off the bat, because you're seeing it happen now. You're seeing prices that are pretty ridiculous, and, and they want to try and say that the, the that Bidenomics, this is the meme that's out there now, you got Bidenomics, is doing good for folks. Okay, Joe Biden, it's the Biden effect. Okay, with the glasses. I don't have gla- any glasses up here. Okay, uh, the- Bidenomics is working for people. And I'm telling you, like if I talk, I talk to normal everyday people, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't see it either, Gucci Trolls. People are saying, the news is saying, the 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 pundits that are for a certain side are saying that prices are coming down. You got four dollar a gallon gas again at where I'm at. It's four dollars a gallon again. Okay. Uh a package of Reese's pizzas is three dollars. That's not no, something's going on. We're not at the point of like Weimar Republic, okay, where you need to have a wheelbarrow of, of, of money to pay for a loaf of bread. We're not there yet. Thank God, okay? And hopefully it never gets to that point. But we're going to a place where I'm, I'm not sure that it won't go there, okay? Gucci trolls, I'm really liking what I see with you. I think maybe you're you're gonna like where I go with with these videos that are coming. I don't know where you're at with Bible prophecy. I don't know if you're into that, um, but that's eventually where this will go if if God, if Jesus doesn't come back first. 
okay? But I'm going to I'm going to do a series of videos. This is the first one on monetary policy and and the bullshit of the Federal Reserve. Let's just jump into the Federal Reserve. Okay, now I hope people understand this by now. But if you haven't heard, God bless you that you love God. That's that's it. That's everything. Okay, so here it is. The federal, the federal Reserve banking system is as federal as Federal Express is. And if you're not aware that Federal Express is not a federal company, you should know that it's not. Neither is the USPS. The USPS, even though it calls itself the United States Postal Service, is a privately owned, it's a private corporation, okay? These... They're, they're, it's all about profit margin always, okay? Um, but if you've noticed how the USPS acts recently, it's it's really insane. It's horrible. It's I'm not I'm not condemning all mailmen and shit like that. That's not what I'm doing here. But I'm telling you, like it's it's pretty rough right now. I would say, okay, they do their best though, and they have run down equipment, all that. But Bidenomics is what's being. <laughs> It's touted as the way we should be doing things, absolutely, 100%. And, and they always want to say trickle-down economics doesn't work. I would agree tri trickle-down is not something that you want to be involved with either. We, but, but, but see, when you, when you have trillionaires that are doing nothing but, but, but doing this, they're taking it, they're taking it in store and taking, and, and they sit on it, okay, this is not the way it it should be, okay? <laughs> now we say businesses, they create wealth. Uh, they create jobs. Yeah, that's accurate. But what the hell are you going to do with wealth if, if all you got going on here with the wealth is you have, you have trillionaires that are filling their coffers, and they're doing nothing philanthropic, philanthropic with it. It's not going to, you're going to have a problem eventually. And, and we have that problem in this country. There's no doubt. You have a concentration of wealth. Thank you for the 100% in the hearts. Thank you. You have a bunch of people. You have too many of the ultra wealthy that are doing this, that it's hampering our system. Okay. When you have so much wealth in a nation, you should be able to take care of your homeless. You should be able to take care of those that are sick. This is something that should come from great wealth. And this is why I am not, I, I really would not call myself a capitalist anymore. Because I, uh, I would just, this is the reason I'm saying it. It created great wealth, but you have also a, the greatest disparity, disparity of wealth as well. The 99% of people have very small amounts of money to live on, okay? The top 1% are the ones that the 99% of the wealth is in the hands of. That's crazy, and a system like that is inherently corrupt. And I'm going to tell you that it does. It goes into the prison system, which is insane, but it does, because the the way the way the money works, it's it it, it, it it's worth so little, and you need so much of it to do anything. Okay, you you have the criminal enterprise seems to be the better thing to do. Because you're, you're going to get larger and larger amounts of money from doing stuff like that. It's just a fact. And, and when you go into the prisons, I'm telling you, the, 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 the number of minorities, non-white, you know, I'm white, non-white individuals, is there's something wrong. There's a great disparity here. And the way that, that, that minorities are treated by law enforcement, it's absolutely gross. Okay. And that the prison populations tell you that something's wrong. You have you have a class, you have classes of people based on their color mainly that are being targeted. And it's insane. And I'm saying that as a white man, I saw it when I was in jail, guys. I saw it firsthand. But capitalism, I say, has failed us because 
it should take care of people. If you get that type of wealth, there should be no reason. There should be absolutely no one that's wanting in your country. And, and it tells you the hearts of men. It's the love of many has waxed cold. Absolutely, I believe that. That's scripture fulfilled. That's, that's one of the signs of the end that the love of many wax is cold. And if you can't, if you can't use your money and for, for, for taking care of others, Jesus Christ would, would, would tell you to just flush it down the toilet. And my mom used to say this to me that, that the only thing that money is really good for is helping other people. And I feel that that's where I'm at. That's what I want to be. You know, I want to be the person helping. I was when I had my money, that's where I was at. And I did my best to do that. Fractional reserve banking system has built in fraud. What's fractional reserve banking? They can lend out at interest money that they don't have on their books. If you had, they can lend out 200% of somebody's $100 bill to someone else once they have it in an account. What does that create? It's built in fraud. You would call it a Ponzi scheme. OK, that is fractional reserve banking, and that's the way our banks operate. They lend money at interest that they don't even have themselves. That's why we've had problems where you had TARP. Remember TARP, the Troubled Asset Relief Program, where the banks were given trillions of dollars because they had toxic paper that was worth nothing on their books. And they, they were under the, the companies were grossly valued incorrectly. So, so then they had all of these defaults and, 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 and the government uncle Sam came in with their printing press of the federal reserve banking system, which is a foreign owned corporation. Okay. The federal reserve board. It's foreign banks that own the Federal Reserve of the United States, okay? Yes, you have to understand that, and it's cancer. The founders of this nation, one of their tenants that they would absolutely, uh, they, they, would, they would say, if, you, if this happens in your country, you're, you're really done. And, and you, <laughs> if, you continue to, if you continue to have that system, uh, go on the, the path that it's at, you're going to have slaves in your own country. Your citizens will be slaves in their own country if you have a foreign entity that's controlling and owning your money. And the Federal Reserve uh, charges at interest, okay, the printing of our currency. Yeah, they're, they're, no, they're, they're literal, they're worth the paper, the, the worth of the U.S. dollar is pegged to the petrol. It's, 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 it's pegged to petroleum uh, oil barrels, okay? That's the only reason that the United States dollar is worth anything because we've said, okay, we're going to agree that the U.S. dollar is pegged to a, to a barrel of oil. And as soon as that's over... Our currency's value is going to absolutely tank to almost zero, to nothing almost. That's, that's where this is going. Now, is that the point where you're going to have to take in an entire manila envelope filled with $100 bills to get a loaf of bread? Maybe. But we don't have to get there. If people can, under, if, if people can start understanding this and where it's going, we can end the Fed. We can we can executive order them out of existence because there's no need to have a Federal Reserve. Okay, constitutional money. Constitutional money is printed. It's the values determined by the legislature and the, the Treasury Department prints. Okay. And they, 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 you, you have levels of, of it always goes up and down based on supply and demand of the dollar in, in circulation. Okay. You value your currency that way. That's how it's valued. Now you want to talk about gold backed currency. You want to talk about silver backed currency. The, I mean, every, every system in its own way is fiat. Okay based on something it's sort of abstract okay 
There's people that propose the idea of uh, pegging the value of your currency to the gross domestic part. The gross domestic product GDP, uh, that that is an option. In my opinion, in my opinion, valuation of currency should come down to a commodity that is agreed by everybody to have value. Now, right now, of course, it's petrol, it's oil. Uh, this is an old system. This this is a, and very manipulatable. Okay, uh, you have whenever whenever a foreign nation that has oil wants to screw with us a little bit, they'll cut production, right? They'll cut production, and then the American people are being absolutely eviscerated at the pumps that they can't they can barely afford to put any money into their tank anymore, because the Saudis go well. We don't like what you did there. Cut it. And then a OPEC, you know, the oil producing nations, the 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 conference of those those guys, the OPEC nations. Uh, it's hilarious. You you why would we base our currency on something that's so many Russia? Russia is in the oil market big. Okay. Why would we base our money on something that's so manipulatable? Uh, well, why, that's exactly why, okay? That's perfect. There's, there's nothing more perfect than that. Because they, you just, you just it, like imagine a switchboard, right? How can we screw with, with the people today? Well, let's, let's, let's call the Saudis up and go, you know what? Cut that production for a month or two, okay? And put the receiver down, that's it. Okay, they, they'll love that one. They'll absolutely love that one, see? But hey, let's not do the constitutional money thing, though. Let's not peg it to, to like, okay, what, we, we can't do gold standard any, anymore. You want to know why? Because the United States doesn't have any gold left. It's gone. The, the, the uh, Fort Knox is filled with gold. Yeah, not since like 1950s, the Social Security Act. Oh, the 50s? What was it? When's Social Security? Okay. When did Social Security come in? And I'm not, I'm not saying, look, I like Social Security. Because my views on the, uh, capitalism, it, it just didn't do what it, would, what it should do. Okay. And by virtue of it not doing that, I, I say, screw it. We need to take care of people before anything. Okay. There's no reason in a nation that's that's this rich that we can't take care of our feeble and old people and people that can't work and stuff. There's no reason why can't, we can't do that with somebody that's living in the country that's as wealthy as as Elon Musk. It's ridiculous. Do I feel like I'm I'm drifting into a Bernie Sanders situation? I like Bernie. I always like Bernie. Okay, even as a conservative capitalist, <laughs> I like his passion. I don't like. I don't like the fact that the man is kind. Is he's kind of he's a little bit hypocritical. Okay, he's got properties. Pension should still be a thing. Oh wow, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can say it's done away with pretty much, right? 100% absolutely truth. What's the deal with that, man? What, pensions. Like, I, I, I have a relative that, that uh, it's pretty much the situation that it's eviscerated. You know what I mean? It's insane. It's really bad. Why doesn't that exist anymore? Isn't that crazy? What? Hi. Hi. There she is. Your glasses, you, uh, oh, poor yeah. girls. Yeah, they broke at the stem. So there's the girl. Say hi to the shanty. She's here. You go to the bathrooms. You wanted to say hi. Well, that's good. I was talking about monetary policy. Oh. Oh. That's going to be the first one. So. 
Gucci Troll said hi. So, yeah, so fractional reserve banking, Federal Reserve System. Uh, and, but you started getting this type of stuff when uh, this is why a lot of patriots and uh, patriot minded people don't like the social uh, programs because they view it as communism or, 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 you know, Marxist communist policy. And I would call myself a Marxist actually now that if I'm going pure, if I'm going pure, the wit, okay. Marxism is global communism. All right. I don't even like using the word communism because that goes into political ideology. Uh, it's not, it's not just, it's not just, uh, brought down to an economic system. There's way more, there's way more involved with communism than, than just the economics of it. But purely speaking, the policy that I would agree with for the nation would be Marxist in nature. Because regardless of what you think of Marx himself, that he was, was he godless? Absolutely. He was atheist. Okay. But the thing is, his vision of what we should do economically is very much what you what I would coin the the kingdom economy. It's accurately the kingdom economy. It's people pooling their resources, and they we go into all of these different terms like the bourgeoisie and the the all all of that. I'm not going to go into that stuff because it's in the weeds. Okay. I don't want to get into the weeds because that gets into debate and you could debate these things until you're blue in the face and you could still say, damn it, capitalism's better, better. And I could say, damn it, it's not because Marxism has never happened ever once, never. Marx's vision is global, communism, global, okay? The entire planet being under a, 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 you would call it a communist system, but minus the politics of communism, please. All right, that's atheistic, and and I I'm I don't have a problem with atheists, but I'm just saying that it's uh it's it's extremely it's not gone well when you're talking about political communism. <laughs> and, and see, if, there were people that I used to hang out with in 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 the hangouts that were were Marxists and and um, atheists, and uh, some of them Leninist. And you'll never hear me call myself a Leninist or a Stalinist. There, that's absolute uh, like vomit. That's 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 authoritarianism, and it's disgusting. Okay, it's like. Um, we're talking about literally you, you, the world would pool their resources and take care of each other. You tell me how that's a bad thing, man. There's no way it's bad. That's straight up, man. That's what Jesus told us to do. Now, Marx just wrote this. The, the, this it's the, he wrote the kingdom economy minus God. Put God out of it. I don't believe you can do it without God, which was why I believe that the kingdom economy that we'll have when Christ returns is Marxism. It's it, it's Marx's view. And I think I think Jesus would be a unionist 100%. Uh, Jesus would want unions. Because the Jews were totally and completely abused their entire existence by by slave masters that dro drove them with no rights. You know, it the worker should have rights. Absolutely. I mean, I don't even know how anybody could disagree with that. Okay, but if you had a if you had a purist capitalist that was talking to me right now, like somebody uh, in the Hangouts, his name was Jeff. Uh, Jeff, um, boy, oh my goodness! If there was a Hangout person in here, they would they they'd remember his name right away, Jeff. Uh, but he is what you call an anarcho uh, an anarcho capitalist, which is unbridled, nothing. It's pure capitalism with no kind, absolutely no um, controls, no regulations. Just purely, if if you're making the money, you're the top of the heap. If you're the best at making money, you're at the top of the system, and that's all there is to it. Do you realize? 
the type of environment that creates. Do you think there's going to be any compassion for the worker in that scenario? Maybe. What? Did you open up the door? No. Why is the door open? I don't know. I can't remember if it was open last time. <sighs> I forgot where I was going with that completely again. Because it's like, you know, I I can really get on a roll with issues, but it's like interruptions are really rough. I'm trying to, and I love her. It's just not the point. It's whatever. Um, so... I covered I covered quite a bit. Okay, kingdom economy is Marxism, and it definitely is. But capitalism, if you have somebody that's an that's an anarcho a capitalist, whoa. Uh, you really you, what, what type of environment do you think that breeds? It breeds. I only care about my bottom line and stockholder. Okay, the worker can do his work and and he can have a wage. But I'm going to call it. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I'll give him ten fifty an hour when I'm pulling in uh, CEOs billions. No, you should pay your worker twenty fifty. You know, as your profits go up, you should compensate your worker better. But we don't do that in capitalism. We just don't do that. It's It's for the stockholder and the CEO and the board. That's what they care about. They don't give a shit about the worker at all. Jesus would be a union guy. A hundred percent. I think it's insane that there are Christians. In future videos, I'm going to have a cool Bluetooth headset so I can move around and it's it, it was out of battery, of course, for this video. I, I'm pretty sure the microphone on this thing is right here. And if I cover it up, you wouldn't, you can't hear me. You got to that's why we no longer have workers who want to work. It, yeah, it, people are leaving their jobs, absolutely. And you had Elon Musk, and I don't care, I whatever. Love him, hate him, Elon Musk, whatever. But he's he's pretty freaking smart. I think he's pretty smart, man. I mean, a, a lot of people say he's an idiot. I don't know. They're not compensated correctly, not at all. And they should have they should have health care by default. Every person that's born in this country period, should have health care immediately because I believe it's a human right. It's not, they monetized health care. Do you realize how disgusting and demonic that is to monetize health care? And then you're killing old people just to kill old people because you feel like it. It's insanity. That's insane that you would monetize people's health. Okay. And then even worse that they're traded on the market. It's like it. Are you kidding me? You have you have these you have these contracts these uh when they, a policy they they can trade between companies and trade back and forth. It's literally making merchandise out of people's health. It's so gross. It's insane, and it needs to stop. All of these abuses in the financial system need to stop. So I'm going to end with this: that the Bible says the Bible says that. An unjust weight and measure of currency is an absolute abomination to the Lord. And interest is is against God. It's 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 a satanic thing. Okay. We should have interest free money in this country that's based on I man, this is a very it's it's really in it's crazy to talk about. You can debate it forever what what the best thing that you could base your currency on is. But um, maybe maybe a pure Marxist would say your true worth is 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 your work. Your worth is your work. Could you base a currency off of work? Yeah, probably. But um, I I mean I you want a tangible good, something that's tangible, gold standard. It's something to look at. We want to go back to that, but we don't got no gold no more. Okay. We don't have no gold no more. So what do you do with that? 
China bought up a lot of stuff and it's going to be the Chinese century. That's for sure. They're smart. They plan things, thousand year plans, the Chinese. They're incredibly brilliant people. So they're going to win it. But uh, an unjust weight and measure is an abomination to the Lord. So we need to get the abomination out of the country and people will have more money in their pocket. Because you might you might not have ten thousand dollars, but you're gonna have like a thousand dollars that's that that will buy you a car. You get a new car for a thousand dollars when you have a powerful dollar, the true power. Now we can debate that. I'm not saying that I got all the answers on on what you base your currency on because that's something time and eternity that's that that you could discuss. Uh, I really like the idea of of your worth as your work. Like like for me, it would be being you know a voice, a radio guy. My worth would be uh, sitting in front of a radio, uh, you know, a microphone. And, and and doing a show every day talking about an issue or doing the news like that would be my worth because I, I think I've I've honed myself uh, in into that type of thing that I can do it pretty well or a radio show in general just all that's my deal I like that stuff podcasting all of it uh, but I mean nationally how do you do that with a currency? You base it on your work. That's that's like nonsense, right? But we'd have to talk about this. is This is an issue, man. People think, I, I don't think there's a single entity living that thinks that our system is quote unquote working. When you have wealth disparity, 99% of the people got shit. Just, most people just, just enough to not get kicked out of their place, maybe. And and, and, and and the extra is meager. You know, you might be able to buy a couple beers, you know, something like that. A pack of cigarettes. That's not right. Something's wrong. 1% has all the wealth. Something's wrong. We can agree on this. Uh, you, if if you're asking me though, this system that we have needs to go. The Federal Reserve Reserve needs to go away. We are all one paycheck away from being homeless. That's the experience that I see of people. Uh, in the, absolutely, they just they don't have disposable income. And that's the thing that you, you if you're if you're choosing to work at a job, you probably don't really even feel like doing. You should be compensated at least for your time. In in in, in a in a good good compensation okay let's talk about minimum wage okay you look you're going to be spending money on groceries right now that's insane it's just the way it is so you should be getting 20 50 an hour okay 20 dollars 50 cents an hour let's say minimum okay minimum Elon Musk, I mentioned him. He said, look, we got to go to an economy that's a $1,500 given by the government to everybody a month, at minimum, at least $1,500 a month for everyone. Because there's the coming a time AI kicks in and a lot of these service economy jobs are going to be gone. And what the hell happens to people? They're not going to have, what are they going to do? You're just going to let them be like this, twisting around in the wind like that? And you're not going to help them, government? Yeah, you better. You better help them. You let this AI thing keep going. So, and we're there. Like it's, it's we're so close to the service economy jobs being gone forever. Making hamburgers, taking orders. It's just then they tax the hell out of it. Oh my, Gucci trolls is where it's at. You, you're awesome. Okay. You stick with me in these videos, we'll have some fun because you're really extremely good at bringing something up for me and it just triggers something in here and I could talk on it, you know. Tax policy, absolutely insane loopholes for the rich, insane. Look at Trump's taxes, disgusting. The guy says he's a billionaire and he paid a couple hundred dollars in taxes for years and years. That is a disgrace. Donald Trump used, loves using the word disgrace. Well, that's a disgrace. There, a, he paid 200 and some million dollars to the Chinese government. 
That's why he doesn't like China. That's why Trump doesn't like China, because he had to actually pay his taxes in China. In America, he could just skirt them and go and, and use tax loopholes from his accountants. I don't owe nothing. Most years, not, nah, you know, deductions. I'm a charitable guy. You know, ridiculous, disgusting disgrace. And I see all of it now with the Trump thing. I can't believe it. it's it's gross that I ever supported the guy, you know. But but I I I, I would say I supported him for the correct reasons. It, it, you know, it was it was to buck the system and 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 piss off the system. And and he did that. But uh, it just went bad. And the guy's a narcissist. Trump's a narcissist. Huge problem. You can't be a good leader and be a narcissist. He can't lose. He can't accept losing. And that's what kills Donald Trump in, in politically. He just can't take an L. He doesn't know how to lose. If he lost in 2020, which he did, he lost the election in 2020 to, to, to Joe Brandon. Okay? He lost it. If he went away, he shook Joe's hand. Four years, it's going to be horrible, Biden. Four years. I'll be back. We're going to make America great in 2024. I'll be back. He would have been fine. But he had to do what he did January 6th and be ahead of an insurrection, which was a joke. It's stupid. Insane. Ridiculous. Crap. The insurrection. That was not, that was a dog and pony show. Now you had that, that this guy, Kenneth Cheeseborough, uh, this guy that was uh, one of Donald Trump's, I believe, advisors or, or one of his attorneys, uh, he was running around with Alex Jones that day. You're going to have to charge Alex, guys. You're going to have to charge him because he was like a general in that army. What a joke. An army? The guy with the, guy with the Viking helmet and the tattoos and he, he, you know, he's muscular, good for the ladies, getting the ladies all worked up, looking good ridiculous the guy was a joke yeah okay the whole thing was a joke but it was a horrible thing because people did perish that's nuts and they wanted to execute they wanted to shoot nancy pelosi in the head and they wanted to hang mike pence it's ridiculous insane disgusting ridiculous okay and trump was the head of it and no it wasn't his freedom of speech to to to, to conspire with people to try and overturn the election it just wasn't he's guilty completely. So hopefully the justice system will sort that out. And, and I think what they're doing to Hunter Biden is disgusting. Let Hunter Biden alone. Okay. The guy was a drug addict and, and, and he had some rough stuff. If he has to pay tax stuff, you got to pay penalties and stuff like that. Absolutely. He, if he did the crime, he does the time, whatever Hunter Biden. Okay. But the guy, give him a break, man. Ridiculous. Uh, okay, you cannot compare Trump and Biden's son. Stop it. And Joe didn't do nothing with, with his son. Okay. Unjust measures are an abomination. We have unjust measures in this country. We need to end the Fed. If you want my view on tax policy, absolutely. Single payer, uh, excuse me, uh, flat tax, 10%. Everybody... No matter who you are, no exceptions, no deductions, you pay 10% of your income to the federal government. Or some people would probably say, no, just make it state taxes and no federal taxes, period. They don't exist. <laughs> I think maybe let's go with the federal tax and it's 10% it's 10, 10 you pay to Uncle Sam every year. One page, you declare your income, you do the calculation, 10% of that, and you pay it, you're done. What are your thoughts on, on Kens uh, Kensington Open Drug Market? Whoa, I don't even know if I could talk about that. Maybe, may, I don't, listen, I would be talking completely out of my butt because I don't know what that's about. So maybe if you want to try and jump in one of these chats with me, we could discuss that. Is that even legal to talk about on here? Uh, open drug market. 
I'm very libertarian feeling on drugs. I think I think all drugs should be legalized uh, and treated like like any other substance. You know, you, you buy it the you buy it where you buy it, and it's you know you got your ID. It says you're 21, and you can buy it. You know, uh, I think all drugs should be lit. They talk about it on YouTube. Okay, well it might be safe then. That's interesting. I'll I'll Google that and do some homework, and I'll see if I could talk about it. But uh, we need to change the system because it's not working for everyday people, and it should. Why the hell should the system only work for the top 1% of the country? That's insane. It's Revelation News. I'll see you next time. This was on uh, monetary policy, Federal Reserve, disgusting vipers.